Hey guys, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. Last year we sold our house and we're traveling across the country with our kids. Hi, my name's Goose and this is Maverick. <laughs> Come join us. Come on, little kite. You got it. Yeah. All right, sing it. Say, let's go fly. <laughs> kite. Goose and I are out on our own little adventure this afternoon. We found a little park on our way to the store because we had to stop and get some stuff for dinner tonight. But oh man, it is perfect today. It's like mid 80s. Just a few fluffy white clouds in the sky to paint it out and make it look beautiful. We got a nice gentle breeze getting the palm tree swaying. Perfect kite flying weather. Get it up, get it up. If only you had some controls. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Look at that technique. Look at that kite flying technique. Oh! <laughs> I think we might be a little excited, yeah? <laughs> Why are you so excited? Dolphins! As you guys probably figured out, today we are at the Dolphin Research Center here in the Florida Keys, and Goose is so excited because as you guys know, dolphins are one of her favorite mammals and probably her favorite uh, ocean animal. So today we're getting a tour around the Dolphin Research Center. We're really not 100% sure what to expect, except for we're gonna learn about dolphins and see some dolphins. That's all we really know. Real dolphins. You ready? Real dolphins! I think I'm so excited. Are you excited too, Mav? Yeah. Good. Average life expectancy. So that's so, the, the means at which, um, or, or median life expectancy, yeah, where mean, half yeah. are expected to die later or half yeah. are expected to die younger. And that actually has been increasing over the years. So, cool. so now. Yeah, oh, they're singing over there. there. Oh, they're singing. And dancing. Is that yeah. cool? So for example, while the actors like You guys, we've only been here for like five minutes and already this is awesome. Did you see the dolphins jumping up in the air? Isn't that crazy?
Hi, Tanner. Did you see him, Mav? Yeah. 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 He loves the kitchen. Uh, so because he hangs out there so much, we have to put sunscreen on his head so he doesn't get sunburned. Yeah, That's Bye. awesome. And he's listening. Dolphins have good hearing above and below the surface. Are you waving? <laughs> Do you hear him talking to you? Can you talk back to him? I may be geeking out. Oh my voice. gosh. <laughs> that was pretty good. Do you have a dolphin oh, voice? <laughs> good job. Are you <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my goodness. So his name is Rainbow. Apparently he's one of the more one of the more vocal dolphins here and if you walk by and don't acknowledge him or talk to him, he'll make noises like that to try and get your attention. Are you making dolphin noises? Are you talking back to him? Good job. <laughs> It's like being in a preschool, I feel like these kids. about fans specifically the Titan fans as you can see I've got a variety of things here everywhere from vent fans for your ceiling to magnetic fans that you can clip onto tents or strollers or any sort of mesh window as well as this bad boy here which is designed to help regulate the temperature of all of the components in the back part of your fridge which basically means this helps your fridge run more efficiently whether that be when you're on electric or gas by keeping that temperature control in the rear of your fridge, it makes it run at a much higher efficiency. If you guys want to see more, I'll actually link up one of my favorite videos I've seen on this topic right here, Jared from All About RVs. In this video, he'll talk all about how you can get more efficiency out of your fridge. Not sponsored by any way, I just love his content. Anyways, back to these Titan fans. I am excited about two of these fans in particular. The magnetic fan right here that can clip onto any mesh screen and the one that I actually already have installed up in our bedroom. Let's go check out that one first. I know that one of the things I was worried about with installing this fan up here is would I still be able to open and close the vent easily? Was it gonna be super loud and annoying? But neither of those are true. The vent still opens and closes perfectly fine and it's actually far quieter than the fans that come stock in these vents. Actually, you know let's do a test here real quick. This is what the original manufactured stock uh, fan sounds like because we still have one in our bathroom. Here it is. And this is what the Titan fan sounds like going at full 100%. Plus, unlike the manufacturer stock fans, you can adjust the speed. So if maybe you want it to be a little bit quieter, you can drop it down to 80, 60, 40, 20%, and it gets far quieter. And this is actually a huge factor for us, because at night, when we're trying to get some airflow, while me and Ash are watching a show in here, the fan can't be on because we can't hear a thing that's being said on the TV. But with the Titan fan going at 100%, we were still able to hear our shows clearly. And that may not seem like a big deal, but when you're trying to have your at-home date night and you can't hear what you're watching, that's just a mood killer. Okay, now on to my second fan, which is actually both of these. These are the exact same fan, just different sizes. 
and these bad boys are USB powered. So as you can see, they just have a normal USB thing. So whether it be a little battery bank like this or your outlet in your car, you just plug them in and then you are good to go. And the benefit of this is, is it's portable and it's magnetic. So you can clip this onto your tent and if you're camping, you can clip this onto a stroller. Does that feel good? You got a nice little breeze? If you are out at the zoo or anything like that to help get airflow in there, cause you know when your kid's taking a nap and you have a tent over the front of that stroller, it gets sweaty in there. So obviously there is a wide variety of fanny manufacturers out there, but I don't think I have seen anything with this ingenious magnetic idea. But if you guys do any boondocking like we do, I highly recommend looking into some fans because airflow is king when it comes to boondocking. Definitely check these guys out. I'll link them up down below, but do your research, figure out what you think will work best for you. Enough about that, back to the vlog. And look at Gambit's already ready. He's super excited. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh it's so smooth. It's so smooth. Here comes Reese. Oh, oh my gosh, no, it's so smooth. That's crazy. Wow. Oh. If you want to say hi to Gambit, you can put your two hands together like this. Gambit really likes attention. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Good job. Oh my god. Are you sweet? You want to show me your belly? So you could grab his handsome belly. Remember, they shed their skin every two oh hours. Goodness, so that's try? why they're that's so crazy. sweet. Every no. two yeah. hours. Yeah, you want to try? You want to try? No. No, that's okay. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. That's it's okay. so smooth. That's crazy. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. Good. What do you think? I'm what geeking out. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're the cutest. Yeah. You are so sweet. Oh. I know you love me the new people. Oh my Mwah. goodness. Yeah. Should we give Reese a turn though? So Reese is six and he's always excited. Just how this little boy's eyes are so big, right? You want to give him a big high five? Oh. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, he says flipper to flipper. He's oh, yeah. it. oh my god. That's so crazy. <laughs> Hi, buddy. You got a little fish in your mouth still. Oh, yeah, he likes to play with his fishies. He's sick, so he's still kind of learning. <laughs> Did learning. he splash you? You want to see his tummy? You notice how it's a little more pink than the other yeah. tummy, right? When they're younger, they have hot pink tummies, but when as they age, they get to be a little more gray. And you see that belly button? Oh, you have a belly yeah, button. He's a mammal, just like just you and like I, you. so he has a belly button. Isn't that oh, so silly? Watch when I touch button. the belly button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you belly. Yeah. You scared me, right? Hi, buddy. Oh, he likes you. Oh. See how they just love the interaction? He's Hi, just buddy. like looking into his eyes. That's oh. so crazy. <laughs> Hi, bud. Nice, Reese. High five. Yeah, you can pull his flipper if you like. Ready? Reese, try it. Yeah. Ready? Watch this. You want to try it? <laughs> you just put your hair. Oh, go ahead. Oh. Go ahead, try. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's blowing bubbles. <laughs> yeah, that is the best. Man, what do you think? That's crazy, huh? Ooh, salty. I got a little bit of. That was really oh, nice. Say thank you. Do you guys want to wave you. to them and they'll wave back? Oh my god. So they're amazing at imitation. So they learn everything through imitating oh, mom. So if you guys wave, they're actually just as good as imitating humans as they are each other. So I'm gonna give them this karate chop. Start waving. Go like this. Yep. Just start waving. Say hi. Oh, oh my they're God. waving. So they're imitating you guys. Isn't that cool? You want a pet? Did you wave? Can Nick, you wave? Can you wave? Say hi. No. Hi. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. So that one is um, a physical imitation. So they're looking at you and they're imitating what you're doing, right? right. Physically. Now we're gonna do a verbal one, this is harder. Okay. And they're young, but I believe in them. <laughs> so you guys are gonna laugh and say, ha, 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 ha. Okay? Okay. All right, Gam, so I'm gonna give them the same signal, this karate chop, and you guys go, ha, 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 
Okay, that one was easier. Why is that one easier? <laughs> yeah, I should have picked that one for you guys. Huh? You're a lot better than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's pretty neat. It's Sounds it's like pretty Goose. Neat. Sounds yeah. like you. <laughs> yes. That is awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you that was so awesome. Much. How was that, Goose? That was amazing. Was that pretty was that cool? Me again. Yeah. Got you. yeah, there's fish. Oh, yeah, there are the fish bigger, in there. The bigger ones are cooler. Do they not eat the fish in the water, or do they? No, no they don't. They don't. You want to see what's in their bucket? They got all restaurant quality fish right here. So we have oh. some big herring. Watch, Gam. No. We have some <laughs> capelin. And we go through this and make sure it's all perfect before it's in their bucket. So they just don't have the instinct to eat the fish in the water? Or so they it? never learned how, whether they were rescues like Louie over there. He was only rescued at eight months old. He was covered in oil. He only had a 5% chance of survival. Cool? So his mom unfortunately yeah. didn't make it through the BP oil spill. Um, and they stay with their mom for up to two years nursing. So Louie only being eight months old, milk in his tummy, he had no idea how to survive. Huh. Um, Gambit was naturally born here, but his parents had no idea how to hunt either. So he's just uh, grew up here knowing the day-to-day -day DRC routine. Interesting, that's crazy. So they fun, buddy. Them, right? Yeah, they catch them. Oh, you should see them. They, they catch they catch, they catch the fish, but they, they throw it at us. They throw it at people. <laughs> they play with them. They throw it at each other. Um, oh, Kasika cool. one time brought an eel up for dock time, like a baby little eel. Um, so yeah, they play with so it, like but they, they're they, like, they, my mouth. they never learned how to um, hunt to sustain a natural diet to yeah. stay satiated. But when they do catch them, they love to show us and they love to play with them. And Santini one time threw one at a little boy standing at the front wall. <laughs> Hit him right in the face. He started crying. Yeah. So yeah, they love getting reactions. And look what I found. And laugh, attention. And like, That's yeah. so cool. And I was like, I'm so sorry. But they, have big, they each have big personalities. I mean, look at them. They're all very different. Yeah. They have different personalities. That's and they so love having fun. fun. Those so are fun. Cool. Put everything you hope for. Oh my gosh, that was like bucket list right there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, you're very amazing. welcome. So I always like to ask, what did the dolphins feel like to you? Oh Man, what did they feel like? Squishy. Squishy. Like, they yeah, weren't they were very smooth. To, I was surprised how soft their underbelly was. I would have thought they would have a harder exterior. saw that but you saw they put those shapes into the water and all of the dolphins recognize the shape it's basically like their name they have names and sometimes they do respond to their names but if they put their shape which means their name in the water they will come up to that person so right now they're organizing them in groups based on their shapes it's so cool how well they have the dolphins trained and how how much the dolphins can learn they have three different sessions going on right now right here they have the play with the dolphins where they're just going to do different activities playing with uh, different toys or things over there they're uh, feeding and they have like a special needs program and then on the other side over there you guys can see they're actually going to get in the water with the dolphins and do this splash encounter so cool So all of these things that they do with the dolphins, most of them have a purpose. Like where you just saw them growing up on the dock. That's to get them used to when they need to do medical procedures and whatnot. So now that we're done with the Dolphin Research Center, we have way more left today. We actually are going to be going to a turtle hospital, but 
It is lunchtime and we have been told that this, the Keys Fishery, is one of the locals' favorite places to go. And I can see why you are literally right on the water. So if you want fresh seafood, it doesn't get much fresher than taking it off the boat and cooking it right here. And I know mommy's ready for some seafood. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, good job. I was a mermaid. <laughs> I got the lobster bisque because that was like what they were known for. Seafood sampler. Mommy, of course, got uh, chicken and salad. And then the girls. I wish I could say that those are fish fingers, but they're chicken fingers. So while we are at this seafood restaurant, I am the only one getting seafood. But as I've told you guys before, that is one of my goals while we're out traveling around is to get food uh, indicative of the area. Like when we were in Louisiana, I tried the uh, all the, ca the Cajun food, the shrimp and the, well, uh, not lobster. Oh my goodness. What is it called, babe? The uh, crawfish, which was very unique. Anyways, I'm excited about this. We got three different kinds of seafood. And the lobster bisque, I can already tell you, is delicious. Okay guys, this is crazy. It's blue skies up there, and it's pouring down rain on us. And it's like 80 degrees. I was told that you belong on the riverside Looking far from being strong Oh look, he has a little friend, a little stuffy like you. Did you know that? You did? Oh, okay. She knew I did. I went down to see you there. Yeah, it's a long time ago, they found the Best part of the day, we're getting to feed this the turtles. Oh, you going for the big one? Mm. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Boom, he got it. Let's go this guy. So he's mixed artists with the proteins like the yeah, seed. Yeah, we'll buddy. Uh, like a, oh, got it. So I feel like the dolphin encounter went really well. I did not expect to be getting to pet one. So we had no idea we were gonna get to do that encounter because they have as you guys saw they have a bunch of different encounters from swimming with dolphins to playing with their little toys like the hula hoops and their signs to the meet and greet kind of like we did yeah. So excited about that. I thought it was just gonna be like learning and walking getting to see all the different dolphins and how they train them how they help them and it was beyond the coolest. <laughs> like, I will geek out and nerd out on that forever. You guys saw so, her face. She was so you. excited about it. The only thing that she still wants to do now is now she wants to swim with the dolphins. Oh, yeah. Petting oh, them. Yeah. And Petting them, like, only fed my, like, I just need to get in the water. <laughs> if I could, like, 
have hopped in the water and not have had people be like, that's incredibly rude, I probably would have. But but they do have that uh, ability or that uh, service offered there at the Dolphin Research Center. So if you want to swim there, they do have tons of different things that you guys can check out. I'll link them up down below if you guys are curious about them because yes. it is a legitimately cool place. Yes. Like, it, And even if we hadn't have gotten to pet the dolphin, it was still, it was an, still amazing an amazing place. It's amazing experience. It's almost like SeaWorld, but educational. Because, like, you have... Well, they have, like, these shows that they put on. Like, you don't have... Like, your ticket to get in includes watching them feed, watching them yeah. do these tests. You get to watch all these other people do their interactions. So you see the dolphins swimming and whatnot. So even if you don't pay to do those specific interactions, you just look at to see all this and learn about the dolphins. It is a very cool place. And I know that for some families, it does get expensive wanting to do those bigger interactions, especially especially if you are a big family. Yeah. However, I feel like even though it, you don't get to get in the water, petting the dolphin, that interaction that you get, it was, really it was just so cool because you could see that they were excited to like look at you, like they were just staring at you and... I mean, they're like I people, they it. like yes. that interaction. They are a vi they're the smartest mammal there just is, right? Other than us. Little kid, like little kids. If, it seemed like because yeah. they wanted to play and they were making farting noises and that was amazing yeah so uh, it just it was honestly a memory that out of everything that we've done so far that is definitely one that I'm gonna remember for a really long time hopefully forever but you never know because people I get old <laughs> Hashtag making memories. That's why we had the <laughs> vlogs. Uh, also, just a reminder, the epic summer giveaway is still going on. So if you guys want to win the Rove Bolt, which is kind of like a Google Home for your car, super cool little device. We've talked about it in the past. That is still going away, I think, for a couple days. I think it ends Going this away? Going on for a couple more days. I think it goes uh, until Sunday or Monday. Uh, but you can check that out on thechickslife.com or I'll link it up down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you haven't, please subscribe and like because that really helps our channel. And the keys are not over. We have more adventures going on in the Florida Keys. So until next time, stay positive. Get out there. Life is an adventure. So, so make, make some, some memories. memories.